not able to, uh, please feel free to cover this uh, in the uh, question and answer session, and uh, we'll do it there. Okay, uh, what is a TPV? What is a TPE? And how, what is a thermoset rubber? And why are these things different? The thermoset rubber is not melt processable. Its shape cannot be changed once it's molded or set. Whereas a thermoplastic elastomer is a class of polymers that performs like a thermoset rubber in terms of performance. But in terms of processing, it behaves like a thermoplastic. So it can be melt processable with any of the traditional thermoplastic processing methods that are listed. Uh, it can be reprocessed, remolded, recycled. recycled. Uh, the ability to process this allows for design and fabrication freedom that thermoset rubber does not. Uh, typically, a TPE has at least two phases, sometimes more than two. But at a minimum, it has a hard phase, usually a semi-crystalline phase, and a soft amorphous phase. Uh, a TPE can be a block copolymer, or it can be a blend of two or more polymers, as long as it satisfies, you know, some of the other criteria that we've already talked about and some that I'm going to cover later. Uh, there are several different classes of TPEs. I'm going to cover that as well, uh, varying based on chemical structure based on performance, and obviously on cost. Uh, a thermoplastic vulcanizate or a TPV is a special kind of a TPE where the amorphous phase is partially or completely crosslinked. This crosslinking step makes TPVs more expensive than non-crosslinked TPEs. Now, what does, you know, What's the difference between the two phases? The hard phase contributes to engineering properties like tensile strength, air strength, stiffness, rigidity, 